Dickens was invited to the Met Gala, one of the most prestigious social and fashion events. And that's a big deal. Now, the Met Gala was supposed to be another crowning moment for stray kids as they were invited to the event by none other than Tommy Hilfiger, the very famous clothing and fashion designer. So I thought stray kids would just have fun, meet Tommy, and just promote K-pop more. And I was also hoping that having one of the most popular K-pop groups attend the event would give K-pop artists more respect. Or at least, that's how it should have been. What ended up happening is this. Guys, like 20, Get closer, closer! I've never seen so many un emotional faces in my life. Oh, now we're gonna do it again! Now let's do it with feeling! Everybody jump! How do you say right in Korean? <laughs> now, I usually don't get mad about many things, but this one really grinds my gears. I'm actually pretty mad talking about this. Just to recap, you have paparazzi saying, Look at those unemotional faces. They look like robots. And you have them ordering stray kids to turn a certain direction. You have one commenting, what the F is that? And then one paparazzi member says, how do you say right in Korean? And then another person says, arigato, which is Japanese, which is very ignorant. How do you not differentiate between Korean and Japanese? These are two big languages. I don't know how you can have those comments on camera and not be cringed about it or embarrassed. And then one of the rudest remarks was when someone said, everybody jump, like they're monkeys or something. Very insulting. The entire time, the paparazzi had this mocking, condescending tone towards the group. It just shows a lack of respect towards K-pop celebrities, where maybe some of them will see this video and might not come to future Western events, or at least American events. And in fact, Bang Chan, who's fluent in English, caught on to these paparazzi's remarks, and he did this clap and said, let's go. And then the rest of the boys followed him. And thank God they did, because who wants to stick around and be ridiculed by this really unprofessional group of people called paparazzi? And I do hope that once Stray Kids got away from those incredibly rude paparazzi, that they had a much better time. Now, whether you call the paparazzi a photographers, or if you want to stretch it and say journalists, their attitudes were horrible that day. It's so disgusting how bad Stray Kids was treated. I was quite shocked. And I know this is not the first time the paparazzi has been rude to K-pop stars. They were rude to BTS when they were first coming to the US, as well as NCT and other groups. You could also say that the paparazzi are rude to everyone, including American artists. Good job, paparazzi, for being consistently rude to every celebrity. Yeah, congratulations, I guess. What's equally frustrating is that two of the members of Stray Kids, Felix and Bang Chan, are both fluent in English. So the paparazzi probably thought they can get away with these rude remarks, thinking, ha, huh, no one will understand. They're Korean after all. But <laughs> joke's on you. Felix and Bang Chan are on the case, and they did understand you. And the rest of the boys as well are not that bad in English. So I'm assuming the whole group knew what was going on. After all, you know that Koreans take at least six years of English during their education, right? Well, apparently these paparazzi won't know because they thought they can get away with these horrible remarks. Now, people that watch this channel on the regular know that I used to work in Korean media as a foreigner. So I used to work for Yonhap News and Korea Times. And if I did anything remotely what these Western American paparazzi did to Stray Kids, I would have been fired the next day. I, I probably would have been fired on the spot. And you know what? I wouldn't blame my employer. In my years of journalism, I have never seen Korean journalists, photographers, or even the paparazzi. Yes, even media like Dispatch. I've never heard anyone order around a group the way that these paparazzi did the Stray Kids. I've never seen it. It blows my mind to say that Korean paparazzi are a lot more well-behaved than American paparazzi. I know, the bar is not too high. So here's how not to be a douchebag when covering a K-pop group at an event. And God, American paparazzi definitely need this lesson. In nearly all cases, a K-pop group is accompanied by a PR person or a translator. So when you want the group to turn left or turn right, you tell that person, hey, 
can you ask the group to turn left or right? And every once in a while, the photographers will tell the group directly and nicely to turn left or right. And since they're asked nicely, they'll pretty much do it. At the Met Gala, it looked like from the video, there was no PR or translator following them. So they had to fend for themselves. That's quite unfortunate because you saw the video. The American paparazzi, if all they did was ask them nicely to turn a certain direction, to pose and say thank you after that, and then shut up, it would have been a much better experience. And it would have actually had some professionalism. I know it's mind blowing to talk about paparazzi and professionalism, but that's what they should have done. We don't need all the extra commentary, how they look like robots or everybody jump or the stupid, how do you say right in Korean? We don't need any of that other commentary. Just do your job as paparazzi, take the pictures, post it on social media and on your website and be done with it. No, there's a lot of mad Stray Kids fans as well. And speaking of Stray Kids fans, let's talk about them. Also known as Stays, they did not take this incident lying down. And you know, I cannot blame Stays for thinking this way. I really can't. Whether you're a Stay or just a general K-pop fan, this event had to have made you mad because it's dissing on your whole music genre that you love. For Stays, they were supposed to celebrate this event as another awesome moment for Stray Kids because they're going to the Met Gala, meeting Tommy Hilfiger, and all that fun stuff. Nope, we gotta talk about this paparazzi event instead. Way to just ruin a good time. Hope these paparazzi know, in turn, just how vicious and protective K-pop fans can get when you make them mad. And boy, are they mad. So I'm sure these paparazzi are gonna get a ton of backlash as long as this event is remembered. But with that being said, I do have to put a disclaimer. Please, 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 please don't dox them. Please don't threaten them. Don't do anything crazy or illegal. Okay, I know that's very obvious to many people because I believe there's a way to both slam the paparazzi as well as keep it classy, if that makes sense. So this brings me up to one of the points I've had here for a while, and that's why I want K-pop to succeed so bad. And the Stray Kids Met Gala incident epitomizes that so well. I want K-pop to succeed so bad because I want Asian celebrities in the West to be more respected and not have paparazzi like this disrespect them so horribly without repercussion. That's a big reason why I want to do it. So whether it's BTS, NCT, Stray Kids, or another one of your favorite groups, I'm team K-pop. These paparazzi, for the most part, are getting away with it. So what do you mean by that, Jason? Here's what I mean. Outside of the stays, K-pop fans, Korean media, and certain Western media. Most Western media aren't even commenting on this. They're just talking about the Met Gala. And I think there needs to be more awareness when K-pop acts are just being harassed like this. It's horrible. I'm hoping that in the future, Asian artists get the same level of respect as Western artists and they can see each other as eye to eye. Because I personally think if it was a Western artist, a lot more media would be on it and would give it a lot more attention that this Western artist was being attacked or harassed by the paparazzi. But because it's K-pop, an Asian act, you don't see as much protection or awareness of this, and that sucks. So to those groups that did put awareness to the Stray Kids incident, thank you so much. I know that doesn't mean much coming from me, but I really respect you and I think that's awesome what you did. And as for those paparazzi that thought it was so cool and edgy to put down Stray Kids at such a prestigious event, grow up. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you may want to grab our free in-depth ebook by signing up to our email list. And if you want more deep discussion about K-pop with fellow intellectuals, consider joining our Discord channel. Both links are in the description below.